Hi, students. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? Students, vocês lembram daquela história que a gente estava lendo há um tempinho atrás? Essa aqui, ó. The Impossible Escape. Lembram dela? Não? Era a história de dois amigos, Simon e Joe, que foram escalar uma montanha lá no Peru, chamada Ciula Grande. Hoje a gente vai descobrir o que, que acontece no final da história, ok? So let's go! 1985, Joe and Simon decided to climb the Ciula Grande, ok? Então, eles decidiram escalar a Ciula Grande e conseguiram atingir o topo. They reached the summit, ok? The top of the mountain. When they were descending the mountain, quando eles estavam descendo a montanha, when they were descending the mountain, Joe fell and he kept hanging on the rope like a big spider. Então, o Joe ficou preso na corda no meio da montanha cheia de neve, full of snow, e Simon tentou ajudar. Joe thought he was going to die. Joe achou que ia morrer. Joe thought he was going to die. He broke his leg. Ele quebrou a perna. He broke his leg. Now, open your book on page 20. Nós vamos ler o texto juntos, ok? So, pay attention. Page 20, exercise number one. Read. Let's go. Exercise number one. The Impossible Escape. A true survival story. Pessoal, The Impossible Escape é a escapada impossível, certo? And a true survival story quer dizer que é uma história de sobrevivência real. Certo? Essa história é baseada em fatos reais. Ok? So, let's go. Vamos lá. Continuando, esta é a segunda parte. Vamos para o final da história. Simon! Simon! Help! Joe yelled. O Joe gritou para o Simon, certo? Simon! Simon! Help! Joe was hanging on the rope like a big, heavy spider. Simon was far above him and he couldn't hear Joe. He only heard the wind. With the snow, it was impossible for the men to see each other. Simon attached himself to the mountain. He wanted to pull Joe up. But he couldn't. Ele não conseguia levantar o Joe, certo? Joe was too heavy. Porque ele era muito pesado. Simon didn't know what to do. He waited there for a long time and he started to feel very tired and cold. Então, pessoal, pensa só. Eles estavam numa montanha cheia de neve, full of snow. Então, eles estavam começando a ficar tired and cold. It was very difficult for him to stand up. He couldn't go down the cliff. It was too dangerous. Além disso, era muito perigoso, né, pessoal? Imagina se acontece uma avalanche. Continuando. He didn't know what to do, but he needed a solution. Então, Simon não sabia o que fazer, mas ele precisava né, de uma solução para o caso deles. He needed a solution. He yelled to Joe for a long time, but there was only silence. Simon thought about Joe's fall. He couldn't imagine that his friend was alive. 
Então, pessoal, a situação estava tão grave, né? Que o Simon thought that Joe was dead. Achou que o Joe já estivesse morto, certo? That he was dead. He couldn't imagine that his friend was alive. Joe had a bad injury and it was very cold. Simon started to think that Joe was dead. He felt no movement on the rope and he heard nothing. Então a corda já não estava mais se movimentando e não dava para ouvir nada, pessoal. Por isso que o Simon pensou que o Joe was dead. He also knew that he had little energy to survive. Finally, Simon couldn't wait anymore. To save his own life, he decided to cut the rope and descend to Legrandi alone. Então, pessoal, ele tomou uma decisão muito difícil. A very hard decision, right? Oh, pay attention. Simon couldn't wait anymore. Ele não podia mais esperar. Simon couldn't wait anymore. To save his own life, para salvar a própria vida, he decided to cut the rope and descend the mountain alone. Ele decidiu descer a montanha sozinha, certo? He took out his knife and cut the rope. In a second, the weight, his friend Joe, was gone. Now Simon was alone on the snowy mountain. Então, pessoal, o que aconteceu? Simon teve que tomar uma decisão muito difícil e cortou a corda que unia ele e Joe, certo? Então, assim ele se livrou do peso. In a second, the weight was gone. The weight, it was his friend Joe. This weight was gone. Now Simon was alone on the snowy mountain. Agora Simon estava sozinho na montanha cheia de neve. Oh, look! Joe wasn't dead. Students, Joe wasn't dead. When Simon cut the rope, Joe fell down the cliff and into a hole in the ice. Everything went dark. Então, pessoal, quando o Joe caiu, ele foi rolando, né? Até um buraco no gelo. E tudo ficou escuro. Then, Joe opened his eyes. Joe abriu os olhos, certo? Then, Joe opened his eyes. He felt cold and his body was full of pain. But he was still alive. He looked around. Ele olhou em volta. He looked around. He saw a lot of ice. He was inside a glacier. Ele estava dentro de uma geleira. He was inside a glacier. His leg hurt a lot. And he remembered breaking it. Now, many other parts of his body hurt too. Então, pessoal, o corpo dele inteiro estava doendo. Many other parts of his body hurt too. Joe decided to continue down the mountain. He didn't want to die. He climbed through a tunnel in the ice. Então, pessoal, ele escalou por um túnel dentro do gelo. After a long time, he came out of the glacier. There was rock and ice all around him. Havia pedras e gelo por toda parte. There was rock and ice all around him. He started slowly crawling and hopping back to base camp. E aí, pessoal, o que será que aconteceu agora, hein? Hum? A gente vai saber já já.